Hi everyone, welcome back to Genotopia. Well today on this nasty rainy day, I thought I would do a declutter on my eyeshadow palettes. Now it's not going to be a huge declutter because I have already gotten rid of four palettes. And it's hard for me to get rid of palettes when it's something that I have spent my hard earned money on. I'm not a big YouTube channel and I don't get PR. So this being said, let's go ahead and get started. I have, like I said, I've already gotten rid of four palettes and I've got a little show and tell, so let me show you what they are. The first one was a Beauty Control palette in the purple shades. I had given that one to my mother. Um, the second one, and these are all wadded up, was the uh, Bad Habit Rules palette. This is a really good dupe for the Modern Renaissance palette. I had given that one to my niece, Erica. Also, the... Um, Coastal Sense Reveal 2 palette, that is a, a nice substitute for the um, Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Actually, it has more shades in the Naked 3. I had given that to my niece, Sarah. And also, the Makeup Revolution uh, Light and Shade palette is a, a really good uh, dupe head-on uh, substitute for the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. And I had given that one to my niece, Sarah. So, those are already four palettes that's out of my collection that are good palettes. I didn't get rid of them for any reason other than some, someone wanted them. And it was a family member and I already had something comparable, so I went ahead and gave those away. So, let's go ahead and get started on my four large palettes that I have. The first one I have is a Too Faced Natural Love palette. And this was Love or Hate with the um, Beauty Gurus on... YouTube, they either loved it or hated it, and the packaging is absolutely beautiful on this palette. Um, most people feel like that it needed more mattes, and I agree, it did need more mattes to uh, really complete the palette, but it has a really nice mirror in it, and uh, it has beautiful, beautiful shades. This is a perfect springtime palette, and I love the uh, bunny nose here. I think that is absolutely a beautiful shade. Um, I'm going to keep this for the springtime. I actually bought this off my friend Kendra. She wasn't too crazy about it, but I think it's a pretty springtime palette. So, Natural Love from Too Faced is staying. Here is another beautiful palette from BH Cosmetics. This is the Natural uh, Neutrals 28 Eye Color Palette, and this has some beautiful, beautiful shades in it. And this is staying in my collection. This was given to me by one of my subscribers, Susan Dotson. So that beautiful baby is staying. This is uh, a Morphe 35P palette. And I don't use this often enough. I really need to drag this out and work on using this. But the shades in this is gorgeous. So I am keeping this Morphe palette. And actually, I dragged this palette out yesterday and used it and got some beautiful looks out of it. This is the uh, Jaclyn Hill palette. And what I did, I've got one of the old packagings. So what I did was I printed out the color sheet and uh, taped it onto the little uh, clear plastic thing that came with it, which made uh, getting my um, color names better. So keeping the Jaclyn Hill and giving it another try. Okay, let's start going through these palettes. So let's see. Let's go with the um, first ones I've got right here. I have the... Let me just move these out of the way. I have the four chocolate bar, well, the three chocolate bar in this uh, semi-sweet, or the, uh, the sweet peach palette. I have the chocolate bar, the semi-sweet, and the bonbon palette. The chocolate bar palette is one of the older ones. The um, names are printed on the little sheet on the inside. I have got a lot of use out of this palette. I really like it. I think it's just a cult classic that everyone needs in their collection. That baby is not going anywhere. I personally use the semi-sweet more than I use the original chocolate bar palette. I love this palette. I just, the only shade I really don't use in here is that blue shade. I just Blues do not look good on me, but I love this palette, so that palette is staying. The Bon Bon is the least used palettes for me. When I first got it, I really used it a lot, but as I have gotten more palettes, I use it less and less, but I'm still keeping it just because I love having the set of four. And I know there's a white chocolate bar palette right now, but I haven't purchased it. Um, not sure if I'm going to get it, but anyway, keeping the Bon Bon. And here is the Sweet Peach. Oh, 
I love this palette. I love to smell it. They say that these palettes taste like chocolate and taste like peaches. I've not tried them. But anyway, I love the shade Bellini, Luscious, Peaches and Cream, Georgia. I love this. I never get a bad eye look out of this palette. So I am keeping that palette. Now here is one that can go bye-bye. This is the W7 in the night. This palette, bye-bye. So that would make me actually five palettes now. So, okay, here is a cat, a cat eyes palette by Too Faced. This was sent to me by my beautiful niece, Erica. She knows how much I love my cats. And hello, Miss Bella. Bella is back. Bella is back. You know, Bella loves to be in the videos. Yeah, when I don't close the door, Bella loves to be in the videos. This palette is so pretty. I love these shades in here, and it gets so many pretty eye looks. Let me see if I can get this open. Bella's baby. Love the packaging on that. Look at that. And the colors in this are beautiful. Get gorgeous eye looks with that. So that palette is not going anywhere. Bella, you've been up here actually 10 seconds, and I've already got hair on my face. Here is a Too Faced peanut butter and jelly palette that was given to me by, by my beautiful niece, uh, Sarah. And I love this palette. I love the shade uh, Spread the Love, um, Peanut Butter Cup, Peanut Brittle. That palette's not going anywhere. Love that one, too. So thank you to my two beautiful nieces. They were just beautiful girls, sweet girls. Love those babies. Okay, let's see here now. Here is my Kat Von D. A shade and light palette. This is the older packaging. This palette is just one of my holy grail palettes. I love this palette. Let me get it out of the box. The shade Lazarus in here is one of my favorite shades ever. Just a beautiful taupey color. I can just wear that by itself and call it an eye look. That shade is gorgeous. And um, that palette's not going anywhere. Bella, honey, mommy can't put her palettes back if you're sitting in my drawer. No, I sure can't. I sure can't. I sure can't. Here is a Fig Tastic by Color City. This made it through my declutter last year. I have maybe color swatched it since then. So that palette can go. Bye bye. Honey, get in mommy's lap or get down, okay? Okay. Here is another one of my absolute favorite palettes. If I don't use this one for a little while and then I get it out to use it, I'm like, oh, I love you. It's that good. It is the Eat Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette. It is not strong shadows that bang you upside the head. It's just beautiful color washes. So if you have a teenager who's just getting started into eyeshadow or if you're someone who just likes a soft wash of color on your eyes, this is the eyeshadow palette for you. You have these beautiful shades here. Then you have this pearlized shade that you can put over top of your eyeshadows which give them a totally different pearlized look so it actually doubles your shade range. Beautiful. I love the shade A Warmth, Sunrise, and Sunset worn together. It is just the most beautiful eye look. I love this palette. And you can get it cosmetics from, um, what are you eating, Bella? You can get it from, um, she eats paper all the time. Bella, honey, don't do that. You can get it off of, um, the It Cosmetics website. You can get it off of QVC, or you can get these from Ulta Beauty. And I like that palette so much that I bought the Naturally Pretty Romantics. And this is also a beautiful springtime palette. And the colors just blend themselves practically. Just absolutely stunning. They have that uh, velvety packaging. So I like to keep these in a box. In their box when possible. The other box got destroyed, but anyway, I like to keep them in their box so that they stay nice and clean. But look at those shades. Look at that green shade. Look at that lavender shade. These are beautiful. Let me go ahead and color swatch those for you just so you can see how beautiful those two shades are. They are beautiful. I love those two shades. I actually like to wear those two shades together. I just think they're so complimentary. Love those. And here is the Urban Decay Nail Palette. 
bales, honey. This was sent to me by one of my subscribers. She said she couldn't stand the thought of me not having her favorite palette in my collection. And I never thought that I wanted that palette, but once I got it and once I started using it, I'm like, where have you been? I love you. Bella, honey, and here is the Naked Heat by Urban Decay. Let me do a couple of color swatches here. This palette is beautiful. These shades are stunning. I get it out of the box. Um, I love uh, Infugo and He Devil. I love these two shades. Look at those. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So that's not going anywhere. All right, here's one Bella knocked off. I guess she knows it's going away. This one I bought. I think it's really cute. It looks like a little clutch pocket book. It's got eyeshadows on one side, and it's got a huge variety of eyeshadows. And on the other side, it has got blushers, con uh, con um, I can't even think, blushers, bronzers, powders. It is just a good palette, but I've got all kinds of things like this, so I don't need it anymore. Thank you, Bella, honey. This is the Bad Habits Retro Love. This is a really good dupe for the Anastasia palette. Um, I keep losing my little pens here. Subculture. I don't think it's got as much fallout. I have uh, tested the Subculture palette at least 30 times going into uh, the stores. And I love this palette. Um, let me do some color swatches here for you. Love it, love it, love it. So keeping this, if I can remember, I have a discount code from um, shophush.com where you can purchase this at for 10% off. I will link that down below for that. So that's not going anywhere. And here is the uh, Pure Cosmetics Buff Collection, which is a dupe for the uh, Urban Decay Naked 3. I love this palette. I don't have the Naked 3. I've got this, but I love it. I use it a lot, especially in the springtime. This is not going anywhere. I've said in the past, I love this so much. I bought one for a gift. Love that. And here is the Ulta Beauty Matte Neutrals. And, um... I love this palette. I've got so many shades similar to this. I'm not really sure. I'm going to put this in a maybe pile. I love that palette though. So let's put this in a maybe. Okay, let me get these two things out of my way. Okay, here is the Golden Nudes by a Style Essentials. We all know that I think that is crap. A waste of $5. Could I had a Happy Meal. Here is the uh, NYX Happy Birthday palette that I got from Ulta Beauty last year. I love that palette. Keeping that not going anywhere. Here is the Master Palette by Mario by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Love those colors. Love that palette. Keeping that baby. Here is the Modern Renaissance. I don't even think I have to open this up. I think everybody and his brother knows what this looks like on the inside. Love this. I even panned a shade. Getting ready to pan a couple more. Love, love, love that. Too bad the uh, subculture didn't have that formulation. They probably would have sold a lot more if they had. Okay, now let's go into the only Lorac palette I have. This is Lorac Pro to Go. Um, there's a couple more Lorocs that I want. I just haven't purchased them because I feel like I've got so many that I just don't need it. On one side, you have six eyeshadows. I'm losing the little brush or something that come with it. On the other side, you have uh, two blushes and a bronzer. Uh, I'm going to keep this since this is the only Lorac that I've got. Here are my two small um, quads from Kat Von D. I have the Plum and the Sage. I love these. Let me open these up and show them to you. These are not going anywhere. I think Kat Von D has one of the best eyeshadow formulas out there. I love, love, love them. This is the Plum. You can see I've got a lot of use out of that palette. Love, love, love that. 
Plums look so good on hazel and green eyes. Love that palette. And here is the sage. And I'm thinking about, these have been discontinued. I'm thinking about going ahead and ordering another one of these if I can get it because I love that so much. I know, Lynn, you were asking about greens right there. Sephora website. That is a beautiful palette. Here's one that can go bye-bye. This is the Too Faced Matte Chocolate Chip Palette. I thought it was a waste of money. I didn't think it was the same formula as the Big Chocolate Bar Palettes. They said it was. I didn't care for it. My niece Melanie loves that. That goes to Melanie. This is the uh, Style by Harouche by Tarte. I got this from... Um, another YouTuber from Susan Anthony. I think this is beautiful. It has six eyeshadow shades and a blush. Love that. Just recently got this from her. Love, love, love it. Keeping that baby. Here are two more Tarte palettes. This is the Tarte Tartus Pro palette. This was my first Tarte product and I absolutely love this. And that's not going anywhere. It's got a great big mirror to travel with. Beautiful. Loving that. Here is my Tarte Tartlet palette. I didn't get this until December. I didn't think I needed these shades, but oh, I did so need these. Love it. It has the prettiest plums. Just beautiful palette. Love it. Check this out. If you love plums, that's a beautiful palette. And the last Tartlet palette or Tarte palette I have is the Tartlet Tease palette. I have never even swatch this palette. I'm going to put this in a maybe pile. This is some Milani Most Love Pats. Most Love Matte. This is very new. This is a new release. It's only been out a few weeks. Let me tell you, you need to go out and grab this palette. It has beautiful um, plums. It has uh, oranges and browns. It is like the love child of the Tarte um, Tartlet palette and the Too Faced um, Just Peachy palette. If they had a love child, this would be it. So you need to go out and grab that. This is the Pure Soiree's Diary palette. I get a lot of use out of this palette. It's got four shimmers and eight matte shades. Got this out of one of my boxy charms. Love that palette. Love it. Carly Bible, if you don't have this palette, you need to go out and grab her second palette. This palette is wonderful. I will probably pan this palette this year because I use this roll of shades so often. And these two highlighters right here are gorgeous. I don't know if you'll be able to see them on my fair skin, but they are gorgeous. So, BH Cosmetics and Carly Bible, low price, high quality. Loving that. And then I just have a Z palette from some things that I had uh, depotted. So um, we'll probably put some more things into that. So I'm keeping that. Here is a Winky Lux palette that came in a boxy charm. I started not to even color swatch this. I thought I don't need that. But when I color swatched Strut and Chelsea, these are two of my favorite colors in my collection. I love it. And it's got a really pretty Duochrome shade right here. But if you love Duochromes, I'm not sure if you can see that or not. But if you love Duochrome shades, you will love that shade. Yeah, you can see it right there. That is beautiful. So, Winky Lux, you have a home here, baby. Because, you know, anything kitten has my heart. Here is one of my babies. I love Too Faced and this Just Peachy palette. I had my eye on this since this first came out. Now, they have a new white peach palette. I've not seen it in person, so I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it or not. I'm not sure if I'm over the peach thing or not. It just seems like peach, 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 peach makeup, peach this, peach that, peach da 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 I may be over the peach th thing, but this one I am so in love with. This baby is staying. I adore the shade Peach Sangria. That shade is beautiful. So, love this. And it, to me, it doesn't smell like peaches. It, to me, it smells like apricots instead of peaches, but love that palette. And you know, I can't make it through a video without dropping something. I don't know if that's my good luck thing or my bad luck thing, but that's my thing. Next, I have a Too Faced palette that my niece Sarah gave me. I'm not sure what the name of it is. It says, uh, own your pretty on the inside. She knows how much I love Too Faced, so she said she had to give me that. 
And then here are three palettes that I got from Susan Anthony in a giveaway drawing that I won. They are a super fun night, I believe in pink and natural beauty, and those are brand new, so they are not going anywhere. Let me show you inside of Super Fun Night. Here is inside of um, I Believe in Pink. And the inside of Bella's Back of Natural Beauty. And these are all beautiful. And I just love Too Faced. And here is uh, Cargo Emerald City. And it's not talking about Wizard of Oz. It's talking about Seattle, Washington. I love this palette. I'm, I love green eyeshadows. I really do. And this has... Um, some beautiful green eyeshadows in this palette. Also some beautiful um, browns and some golds. This uh, palette is beautiful. I don't know if you can still get it off the Cargo website or off HSN where I purchased mine. But if you love greens, this has got um, some beautiful greens right here. So that is a beautiful palette. And I'm going now to some of my smaller palettes. If I can get Bella out of the way. Here is a new Wet n Wild palette that I purchased. It's supposed to have some dupe colors for the Modern Renaissance. I've not tried it yet, so I'm keeping that palette. Here is the Wet n Wild uh, Comfort Zone. I've had this for a while. All the beauty gurus break, uh, rave about it. They, they really rave about this shade right down here, which is a duochrome shade. I need to get this out and play with this. So, keeping that until I play with that. This is a dirty little secret color stick. I told a friend of mine she could have that, so I'm putting that in the giveaway box. Smashbox mattes. I think I just have so many shades this color or something. I just don't use this palette, so I think I'm going to send that to my niece, Erica. So that goes in the giveaway box. I had two of these. I had one in iris and another one in orchid and i'm not sure where the orchid is unless it's down in there somewhere but anyway i'm getting rid of both of them when i can find the other so getting rid of both of those i love both of these avon eyeshadow colors because they're in greens one of them is called gilted metallics the other one is called emerald cut i'm keeping both of these there is that one and here is this one This one's got peaches. Love that one. So keeping both of those. Here is a, a little a duo from um, Signature Club A. Keeping that one. This one is LA Colors. This shade is called Jaded. And I love this green shade. So keeping that. Here's a Lancome eyeshadow palette. Get this open. I can't see the name of, of it. I don't have really any other colors like this, so I'm going to keep these. It's got a glistening black and a silver and a brown. I'm going to keep that just because I don't have anything else in those color ranges. Here is a Wet n Wild. This is one of my favorite colors from Wet n Wild. This is called Cream Brulee. Love this. Beauty Control. Um, keep dropping little applicators out of them. I'm going to keep this and give this one more shot in the spring when I want just a light wash of color. This is a Sephora. This is called Snake Skin Dress. I love that shade of green. Keep it that. This is a Lancome. It's called uh, Ombre Effects Sensations. I love this shade. I put this into my declutter last year and started to get rid of it and got it back out and I have used this a lot so I'm going to keep that one. Uh, here's an Ame Trio. I'm going to get rid of that. Here's a Revlon Photo Art Eye. Um, I'm going to keep that because it's got a glitter eyeshadow on the end. So I'm going to keep that. Here is a Luna Eyeshadow. I'm going to put that in a giveaway. So I'm going to get rid of that. Here are three little LA matte colors. Well, this one's matte. The other two are baby pop eyeshadows. They are shimmers. I'm going to uh, depot these and put these in my um, Z palette. So I'm going to keep those. Bella, honey, my goodness, your wiggle worm. Here is an e.l.f. palette that I've not tried yet. I'm going to keep that because that is my only e.l.f. Here is a Laura Mercier gold pencil. 
uh, eye crayon. I'm going to keep that. Here is two LA Color um, palettes. I'm going to keep these because I don't have any colors like these. So I'm going to keep both of those. Here's a gold glitter. I'm going to keep that. Here's another gold glitter. Let me check this and see if this is... Oh yeah, that's still good. So I'm going to keep that. That's by Milani. This is my only colorful eye palette. So I'm going to keep that. And here are two glitter palettes that I use at Halloween. So I'm going to keep both of those. So let's count how many that I've got to give away or get rid of. Excuse me, Bells. She's in my box. Oh, just a second. I've got some more eyeshadow palettes right here. Uh oh, I'm moving my camera around. Sorry about that, folks. Here is the other eyeshadow palette that I was looking for. This is the LA Colors Orchid. I'm going to get rid of that one. Here is the Ulta Beauty palette. This is the second one of these I've had. I'm going to get rid of that one. This is the uh, Glam Metals palette that I got in a boxy charm last month. This is a beautiful palette, but it's not something I will use, so I'm going to remove this from my collection. Love the Guitar Mira. Adorable palette, but not for me. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And here is a Sweet Enchantress. I bought this because I wanted to try this brand Sugar. And I've not even color swatched it. But I think I'm going to go ahead and remove this one from my collection too. So, let me count and see how many that I have removed now. I thought I was through when I saw those. That's been what Bella knocked off in addition to the other palette. So with the original four, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen items. So I'm getting rid of eighteen items of myself. If you like my video, please click like. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Be sure to click the little bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Be sure to share the love, not the hate. I hope you like the clutter videos. I've got a few more on the way. Thank you for watching my video.